So, um, a device that is widely used is a high chair and that's because it's typically the safest place for an infant or young child to eat. There are other ways to do it. You could sit a baby on your knee in between your, your legs and um, when they've got that sitting balance but typically we're using a high chair and proper positioning is needed to develop feeding skills including using hands and arms, getting to use cutlery, picking up small pieces of food and then for chewing and safe swallowing. And most babies are ready to sit in a high chair around six months of age and um, if you if you need to consider what features to look for in a high chair, we always want to consider safety, so making sure that a child is not going to be able to climb out using a five-point safety harness, either a well-fitted tray um, that's easy to position or, or sort of with their arms at 90 degrees. So as you can see on the picture here where the orange line is on the little one's arm, on the table, we want them to be able to place their, their arm on their tray like that or you want to be able to bring the high chair into a table in a good position. Position at eye level is good for support and communication. If you're working in a nursery setting, uh, you may not look for sort of a high chair, you may be looking more at a, a small chair so all the children can sit around a table together and that is fine, that's fine too. Uh, but at home, you, you're wanting something that you know, they're on eye level with you really. We want a supportive backrest and we want a chair that encourages the 1990 position at hips and knees and where they have the ability to place their feet flat on the floor. Children don't keep their feet still, but we want that stable base of support in order for them to use their hands. Um, also the evidence shows we don't actually stay in an upright seated position when we, when we eat, um, but we tend to bring ourselves forward slightly but we want to make sure that chairs aren't either encouraging, encouraging or recline or bringing a child too far forwards. We want them to be able to achieve um, the position that's in the picture really. And having adjustability is good just uh, rather than having to change your, your high chair frequently if you can get one that's adjustable, adjustable footrest, adjustable seat depth that'll last sort of much longer as well.